It's high noon. All right, so we're taking a look at the field ordnance battery here for the Astro Militarum Imperial Guard. Uh, stat line wise, move four, pretty weak, but they're, you're not looking to be moving them anyway. A beefy toughness of five, four plus save, six wounds, seven plus uh, uh, leadership, and a objective control of two. So overall, that toughness five and four plus save, that makes them pretty beefy, and odds are you're not taking them out with just like a squad of bolter fire or something like that. They're actually going to hang in there pretty good, which is impressive for an Imperial Guard unit. The standard the standard loadout is going to be the Malleus Rocket Launcher, which has a blast and heavy range of 48 inches. has die 6 plus 6 attack, so it's going to just drop an absolute shitload of shots downwind. It's heavy, so as long as you don't move, it's going to get to the plus 1 ballistic skill. So it's going to hit on 4s. You throw take aim on there, and you're going to hit on 3s with up to 12 shots, which is just a ridiculous amount. Um, the Melee's Rocket Launcher is incredible. The Bombast Field Gun has the Indirect Fire, which is always a bonus. It hits a little bit harder and does two wounds a pop. And the uh, always solid Heavy Last Cannon with the two shots hitting on threes with uh, Take Aim, Strength 14, AP minus 3, Die 6 plus 1. It's just a finger of God hitting somebody. And then the uh, Close Combat, that's the way to take it out. You get it in Close Combat and you're pretty much going to toast them. They have an, uh, their ability is the uh, rearm reload fire. While this unit is being affected by an order, provided it remains stationary this turn, which again these guys aren't going to ever move. All heavy weapons equipped by models in this unit have the sustain hits one ability, which only makes it even better for something like the Malleus rocket launcher that's going to throw up to twelve shots downwind. Any six that you roll is going to be an additional an additional auto hit. Okay, you know I mean that's ridiculous. So yeah, these things, solid, these are solid model for uh, 120 points for a pair of them, and you get to pick which ones you want, whether it's, I mean, if you're going to run the Bombast Seal Gun, you should probably run two, but uh, the Manus Rocket Launcher and a Heavy Last Cannon is a decent combo, because it allows you to, to split fire with the unit, and you can finger a death vehicle and nuke infantry squads with the Manus la launch, uh, Rocket Launcher. A pair of Manus Rocket Launchers are also a solid call as well. So, yeah, overall, guys, the heavy, the ordnance the ordnance unit, they're pretty freaking good. You get two teams for 120 points. Uh, they come base with, as the Malus Rocket Launcher, last gun, last pistol, close combat weapons. They're just dudes, but uh, for an Imperial Guard unit, they're pretty beefy. So there you go, guys. Field ordnance battery. Buy them. Put them in your armies. They're good. All right, so here's the uh, painted unit that I have here. It's got a manless rocket launcher and the heavy last cannon that we're looking at right here. I went with a mono color, very uh, World War II style. It's got like a drab green color. For the most part, I did like a wash with a Nuln oil. And then I just did some decals on the front just to kind of give a little bit more personality. The dudes are all painted in the normal uh, the tan color with the brown uh, pockets and belts and then the green helmets and hats. Here's the Malleus rocket launcher. Same thing here, the drab green. I did uh, the ink wash on it. Uh, pretty much the same look as the rest of the uh, the squads that I have, just trying to keep it kind of uniform looking. Nothing spectacular, you know, I mean, I am your average Joe Painter, but there you go, guys. Please uh, like and subscribe here on Broncos Gaming World, and I will see you guys again next time. Take care. Boom goes the dynamite.